so we'll move on to the next thing here. Uh, we would like to take a few minutes to introduce to you the Chairman Circle members. We we'll rounded out 12 that we said that we would have, and we'll stop at 12. Uh, and I, I would like to introduce each one and ask that you come to the front as we call your name. And I would like to award you with a plaque. Actually, I think Erica, Erica, do you have a PowerPoint you want to? Okay. <laughs> At the end of 2007, our chamber, with the help of many of our members, joined together to help promote programs and services that would help stimulate and change the face of our local economy. Impact 2012 focused on five areas of growth. Targeted business expansion, entrepreneur and small business development, enhancement of pro-business environment, attraction of amenity seeking retirees, and workforce development and education. Through the Chamber's targeted business expansion division, our community has facilitated the growth of 4,162 jobs in environmental technology, information technology, and medical services and support. The targeted business expansion program has grown into what we now know as Opportunity Central, the Chamber's Smart Community Initiative. We know that in order to grow, we have to keep our college and university talent here in Valdosta. With almost 500 members, Metro One has held 25 professional development seminars, four young professional days, 46 networking events, and recognized 12 emerging leaders and two young professionals of the year, as well as five community advocacy projects. One of the most important programs at the Chamber is the Seeds Business Resource Center. The Seed Center has assisted more than 2,600 clients over the past five years, providing 2,500 resources and ultimately aiding in the creation of 100 new businesses. Our business plan competition has helped eight startup companies, and we will have awarded more than $100,000 to these winners, resulting in the creation of more than 54 jobs. We knew that professional development was key, and our business university has conducted more than 50 workshops with approximately 750 attendees over the past five years. What began as one lead group evolved into two, with more than 45 professionals participating, exchanging approximately 3,900 leads over the five-year period. And our professional consultants program has provided 184 hours of complimentary advice and services to new businesses in the area. Our third focus was the enhancement of a pro-business environment. The No Wrong Door Guide was created to aid any business interested in locating in Dallas or Lowndes County or expanding an existing business. SORT, the Chamber's Special Ombudsman Response Team, has made immeasurable progress in our community by identifying ways to streamline the business development process. Government department heads involved in the process now come together as a team regularly to help business owners. We wanted to see where we stood compared to other communities similar to us, and were we in for a bit of a shock. The publication of Lowndes County by the Numbers, developed by VSU's College of Business, showed us that we have some work to do. Community leaders gathered at the Economic Summits to discuss the findings and share ideas for future growth and opportunity. The Chamber's Triple Crown Hometowns Initiative helped relocate 353 retiree households to this area, bringing in an additional annual income of nearly $15 million, $12.7 million in additional spending each year, and liquid assets of $150 million, all of this creating 706 indirect new jobs in our community. If these numbers weren't impressive enough, Take a look at some of the positive national recognition that we've received. We were named top four retirement college towns, one of 11 great places to retire in the South, and top undiscovered retirement haven. The annual World Class Employee Recognition Program awarded 20 exemplary members of the Lowndes County Workforce with a total of $30,000 in cash prizes. 
Over the five years of Impact 2012, this event has recognized 112 outstanding world-class employees in Valdosta Lowndes County. So, what do we want for our future? We know that we want to grow, progress, be sustainable. The Impact 2012 initiatives have helped us accomplish this, and they have become so important to our mission and to our community, they are now the backbone of our chamber. What would the future look like without impact? Well, we know our chamber would look very different without impact. Uh, for example, we have to take out our business development initiatives that would include Opportunity Central and Metro One, gone. Eliminate the Retiree Attraction Program, a No More Seed Business Resource Center, and let's just keep our business environment the way it is. No need to make it better. Let's get rid of workforce development and education initiatives. No need to encourage employee <coughs> excellence and education improvement. And finally, let's remove our vision. Our community can progress on its own. Here we are, I think it's safe to say that no one wants to see our community or our chamber move backwards or fall behind. Twelve leading businesses and organizations have stepped up to make certain that does not happen. Today, we recognize the inaugural group of Chairman Circle members. They are leading the way, allowing us to continue the Impact 2012 initiatives that have made such a profound difference in our community during the past five years. First American Health Group, Ameris Bank, First Wealth Management, Citizens Community Bank, Cypress Lake Team Temps, E-League One Fresh Beginnings, Erco Worldwide, First State Bank, Georgia Power, South Georgia Medical Center, South <coughs> Federal Credit Union, and Valdosta State University. Thank you, Chairman Circle members. At the end of 2007, our chamber, with the help of many of our members, services that have helped stimulate and change the face of our <laughs> 